it doesn't matter even if you are from a non technical background this video is going to be super helpful because today we'll be discussing why you should never click on any sort of link and i'm sure this video will change your perspective to how you look at the links right now also super important to share this with your parents and your other family members because you don't want them to click on any wrong link so welcome back to the channel if you're new to the channel make sure to click the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you are notified always whenever i put up a video so without further ado let's deep dive into the topic why you should never click on links any sort of links let's discuss that also we will be discussing what are the precaution measures and how you can avoid clicking those links so these days links are being shared on every platform it can be whatsapp facebook or probably even via a message also an sms so there are four major categories of links that you should never click all right so first one being link shorteners now there are services such as bit.ly tiny url so what these link shorteners do let's see it with the help of an example so what a malicious actor can do he can simply use a free service such as bit.ly he can create and enter a malicious link over here let's say for now let's give https attacker.com okay this can be any malicious url and there are high possibilities that that can be a phishing website okay we'll discuss what a phishing website is but first let's see what will happen now this is a url and as soon as you hit on create so the malicious url will be created for you now you copy this link now observe as soon as you click on the link you will be redirected to attacker.com now for example someone sends you an sms or your parents an sms this link looks harmless but whenever you click on it it will redirect you to some malicious website in most of the cases right so never ever click on these types of links unless you are absolutely sure of who sent them and you know the person because i showed you how it can redirect you to a phishing website now just to give you a brief what a phishing website is it is basically a clone of some website to steal your details let's say someone creates a fake banking website over here which asks you to enter your credentials credit card numbers and you will be willing to give it because you visited from a safe looking link and when you reach the website it looks absolutely legitimate so never click on these types of links okay the second types of link that you should never click on is ngrock.io now what happens is because this is a free service that is being offered for development and testing purposes so without getting too technical what this service does is so it can basically redirect you to a malicious website and even in some cases if the attacker the malicious person is running some kind of an exploit on his server this link will basically map to that exploit and you will be affected from that and i've seen it in the past people do share such type of links because this is a free service so people do share these types of link via sms impersonating a bank that this message is being sent from bank click here to reset your password and all sorts of thing so never ever click on ngrow.io links the third category that i am going to discuss now is probably one of the most intriguing category i would say that most of you would not have known about in the past it is known as idn homograph attack now what happens is there are similar looking characters in other languages also for example if i write e in english it has a similar looking russian character which also looks like an e but is not actually an e and this is probably one of the most important for all the youtubers as well so what can happen is while emailing you a link the person who is sending the link can replace the correct letter e with a similar looking e from another language so it will look google.com to you but it is not actually google.com let's see a live example in the url you can see i have typed google.com and most of you will click this link why because it is google.com you would say it is harmless and we use it every day how can it possibly go wrong let's see if i click enter you will be redirected to something like this now why did that happen is because this is a table which represent all the homoglyphs so instead of this actual e in google i used this e which also looks exactly similar just it is a little smaller but you cannot make the difference out of these two so i simply use this and you are redirected to some other domain okay there are similar looking characters which are known as homoglyphs that are similar to a similar to b c and so on 
so it is very important that you first hover over the link and on the bottom of your screen see that where it will redirect to because when you hover over any link it will show you that where you are being redirected to now the fourth category that we are going to discuss is sort of a vulnerability in the website only it is known as open redirect so if someone sends you this kind of a link okay just a disclaimer this link is not vulnerable and this will not work over here but similar looking links if someone sends you then there is a high probability that you or your parents who are not so technically involved overall will click on this link okay so in such a case what is actually happening there exists an open redirect vulnerability on this domain again this is just an example i can replace this with example.com and it doesn't matter because this is just an example okay i will send you this link and if this domain or this website is vulnerable to open redirect as soon as we click on this link it will redirect us to attacker.com so never click on such types of link which have a parameter whatever is there after question mark we call it a parameter and equal to is the value so never click on such sort of links that redirect you to some another page it can be a malicious page again asking for your credentials to seal your details so these were the four broad categories i made to help you understand what kinds of link you should never click never click on any link sent from an untrusted source unless you are absolutely sure that who the person is who sent you the link and he does not have any bad intention then only click on the link also i'm absolutely sure that you guys must be wondering that what types of link should we click then should we not click on any link so i'll tell you a work around that you can use in order to stay away from all sorts of scam so let's say one day you get an email in your inbox saying that someone is trying to change your amazon password click on this link to change your password and that time people get scared that oh my god someone is trying to change my password let me click on the link and reset my password now as soon as you click on the link you are in panic mode and you don't see where you are redirecting to so you just visit that link enter your password and that's the moment when you are hacked because that is no, that was not an actual email being sent from amazon or for that matter any other website this is just an example so in such a case what you have to do is if you receive an email from amazon that click on this link to reset your password you have to say chill bro you have to go to the web browser manually type amazon.com and then reset your password why do you have to click that link that is a much better approach because whatever you are entering manually you for sure know that this will not redirect you to any other website or can cause you any harm so this is the best approach now i would request you to share this video with your friends and your parents because according to the survey most of the elderly people are getting trapped into such types of scenarios so make them aware and subscribe to this channel and like the video i'll come up with some more interesting content in the next video till then see you bye bye just tell me what you want what you need what you see what you want to be tell me everything to get into being that's our dreams become the real thing a model of thinking about it a sinking yeah i've been coast to coast around this whole globe i've seen a lot of hope yeah i've seen a lot